more than you'll ever know. And back at you. I appreciate it. Have a seat. Have a seat and enjoy. Uh, rest your feet. You've been dancing like crazy. I've been watching you. <laughs> now, uh, in case you don't know me, I think you know me. I think if you know anything about me, uh, you know I love uh, positivity. I live in positivity. I believe we need positivity in the world. Don't like to be a part of anything that's not. But. <laughs> but today I have to talk about something that really annoyed me, and it annoyed me so much I'm starting a new segment. It's called, I'm usually very positive, but this really annoyed me. Now, I've been annoyed about things before, but I didn't have a segment for it. I, I'm, I'm big on segments this season. We're going to have a segment for everything. We're going to be like a, an orange. Um, so, <laughs> but if I had a segment, uh, I'll tell you some things that would be in it. Glitter would be in it, because, oh, it's annoying. It gets, you know, you, you're not asking for it. You open up a birthday card, and suddenly you look like a magician's assistant. You just, <laughs> and it, it, you can't get it off, and you think you've gotten it off, and then it's there, and then you try to, anyway. So, that would be in it, and so would low-rise jeans. That would be in it <laughs> as well. Wearing them is annoying. B standing behind someone who's wearing them <laughs> that needs to bend over to pick something up is, they're all annoying, low-rise jeans. All right, anyway, here's what's annoying me today in the segment. It is people who spit their gum out. And not, I'm not talking about people who spit their gum out in the trash or in a little piece of paper and then put it in the trash. People who just spit their gum out on their way to the glitter store, probably. <laughs> Here's what happened. Okay, so last night, uh, I took my dogs out uh, for the last time in the evening, and uh, Wolf, one of our dogs, walks over in, uh, to the driveway, starts sniffing something, which is not unusual. He's a dog, and he sniffs. And so, and then he wouldn't come. I kept saying, Wolf, come here. And I look, and his, his, he's got something in his mouth on the ground, and he lifts his head up and, and stuck between his mouth <laughs> and the ground, looking at me like, you know, is gum, just a wad of gum. It, it really, in the driveway, who throws their gum in someone's driveway? I have no idea how the gum got there. I don't chew gum. Portia doesn't chew gum. My mama chews tobacco only. <laughs> Tobacky, as she calls it. And, um, <laughs> no. Um, no. So then I had to figure out how to get the gum off the driveway, which is, you know, difficult because my driveway is made of golden hair. And <laughs> I wasn't sure how to get it off, but I tried uh, right away. Uh, I, I was like, well, what, what am I going to do? There's gum on the dri driveway. So I, first thing, I thought, well, I'll put the house on the market. And um, <laughs> then I thought, well, I should just try. So I got some ice because I heard uh, that and it doesn't work. The ice didn't work. So then I tried uh, peanut butter and uh, hairspray, and uh, I was literally out on the driveway with hairspray, a peanut butter, ice, everything, because I thought someone else is going to step in it, so I've got to try to get this off. That's when the double-decker uh, tour bus drives by. <laughs> and that's when I wished I had remembered to put on a robe, too. And <laughs> so that was last night, and then this morning I get up, and the gum's still there, and thanks to the peanut butter, a raccoon. And so the raccoon... <laughs> Is, you know, looking at me like, mm, we're trying to get it off, and like that. And it, they're smart, so he had a stick, and he was scraping it. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you have gum and you want to get rid of it, please don't litter. Please stick your gum where the sun doesn't shine, <laughs> under a table. Um, all right, thanks for letting me vent. And tune in next week when I talk about people who cough like this. 